shitting myself. Shitting myself. All right, yo, what is up guys? Today, we're gonna be riding in the rain, as you can probably tell. Um, <laughs> I've ridden in the rain a couple of times, but uh, nothing quite like this. The rest of my rain rides have kind of been on the freeway at 100k an hour, but on the freeway, you don't have these intersections um, and you don't have really sharp corners and bends. Uh, you don't have many white painted lines. So it takes, believe it or not, a lot of the hazard out of rain riding. Even though the speed is high, and yes, it would be harder to emergency brake uh, and perhaps avoid any obstacles, um, it's nowhere near as bad as riding on roads such as these. So this is my first proper rain ride uh, as such in conditions where the uh, factors are not in my favor at all. But I thought, hey, I'm gonna give it a go because I've done this route a few times now, quite a few times, I commute on it quite regularly and I'm comfortable with it. So I figured why not give it a go? Now, the only concessions I've made uh, compared to my typical riding equipment and gear is I have recently purchased uh, an Ixen textile jacket, which actually has a beautiful waterproof layer in it. Uh, I didn't buy it for that reason, but I know it's just gonna come in really handy. Um, and what else? I'm also wearing a Nexoc, uh, which I bought a while ago, but never really used. I thought I'd, I'd give that a go. And I'll probably be using it a bit more now that winter is approaching. One thing I did learn from a previous rain ride is not to put the visor up because then the rain gets behind the inside of the visor uh, and you can't wipe that away with your gloves. So that kind of sucks because I love opening my visor and getting that fresh air in. Lou, well, to be honest, it doesn't seem to be pouring. So I'm going to flip it up right now. Ah, uh, nah, it's definitely raining a bit and I would much rather feel a little stuffy in my helmet than lose visibility till the end of my trip. So here we are. I am a little anxious, a little bit nervous because rain riding is not something I'm comfortable with. As much as I love commuting and riding, um, and as much as I have enjoyed the rain rides I've done on the freeway, I feel like this is, yeah, this is a bit more difficult. At least I won't have to worry too much about hydroplaning at these speeds, but there's a lot more to keep my eye on and keep in mind. You know, even the fact that coming to these intersections, the car behind me, if they're not paying attention and they, they don't brake properly, then, you know, there's far less of a margin of error before I'm the one who gets sent to hospital. But so far so good, we're doing okay. Just periodically wiping my visor down. We're doing all right, we're doing all right, we're feeling good. This wind sock, even though it's keeping me warm, I don't know how it's gonna affect the audio of the video. And secondly, it's really stuffy. <laughs> Give the scooter rider a bit of a nod. Also, how do you guys like the uh, new angle? I put my old action camera on it. Um, oh yeah, you guys can see my face now. But what do you think? Uh, hopefully it works. Fuck, this neck sock is annoying. Despite being kind of anxious and somewhat nervous about this experience, I am enjoying it. All right, I'm trying to stick to a line that has uh, the fewest puddles so that I don't end up hydroplaning. Now this section of the Princess Highway is quite narrow and difficult to lane filter in even on a good day. So it will be intriguing for sure to see how we do in the wet when all these white markings turn into ice. It's not too bad at the moment because there is very little traffic compared to peak hour. Okay, oh shit, that's a bit of water. Didn't have time to react though because my following distance isn't that great. But I'm staying to the right hand side of the lane because this whole section is 
depressed uh, for drainage purposes and therefore water loves to collect there. I'm kind of not happy with how I did in that section of the road because my following distance was uh, as it would have been on a dry day and that's that's not a good habit not at all so it's a lot harder to filter I'm finding uh, in the wet because of the number of droplets on my visor um, it's kind of okay for long distance riding and riding at you know this speed but when it comes to judging the finer details closer to your face um, it's a little bit harder, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm imagining it. I have seen people talk about getting uh, anti-fog coatings for their visors. Some people say just a bit of wax across the visor is good because it forces the water to beat up and roll off with the wind. Um, so that's definitely something to consider. And I also think uh, one other thing I could potentially invest in, or probably should potentially invest in it, I'm going to ride in weather like this now that winter is coming along uh, is to get some rainproof gear so even though my jacket is rainproof it's best to just have this lightweight layer that goes on top of everything um, and is highlighter yellow so you look like a dork but when you get to the office when you get to dance class you just whack that off and throw it somewhere to dry and you're not drenched yourself or your clothes your primary clothing isn't drenched All right, ladies and gentlemen, we made it to Melbourne CBD uh, in some moderate rain and very wet roads. I'm proud of myself. I hope you guys are too. That was fun um, and nothing went wrong. So this is definitely something I'm going to do again and probably, yeah, we'll have the opportunity to do again because winter's here and the weather gets horrid. There is a stunning lack of uh, motorcycles here. What kind people. Shoo, what a beauty. She did it. Gave me no troubles. I love this bike, man. Can. Nicely done. We're back. We're back on our bullshit. Except this time we've upped the difficulty level because it's night. Oh, and no windsock. Because screw that. The reason I'm not wearing my glasses right now, yes, I usually wear my glasses, um, not just because I need it to see, but mainly because it provides an extra layer of protection between my eyes and the elements. Um, because as mentioned many times, I love riding with my visor up. Because the visor doesn't come up, your glasses fog up like crazy. Uh, even though my visor has a pin lock, unfortunately my glasses do not and it seems to be a hot topic on the internet and there doesn't seem to be like a steadfast solution for it so it's just easier to not ride with them uh, and it's fine because my vision isn't you know too poorly affected I would not be riding at night uh, with no glasses if I actually needed them we're riding at night in the wet how dank some would argue how stupid uh, you know there are many people I know who don't ride their bikes in the wet because Bikes are, uh, for most people, a luxury and not an essential mode of transport. Um, I know it's the case for me, it is a luxury, I could have taken the train up. The issue is I had gotten pretty damn used to the convenience a motorcycle offers. Taking the bike has cut my commute back home in half, it's crazy. More than half, so that convenience, it's hard to let go of and that's uh, part of the reason why I'm insisting on riding in the wet, the cold and the dark. Uh, the other reason is I just enjoy riding, like I want to ride and I want to be able to ride in all conditions. Alright, and we're off. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I have pretty much safely made it home rode in the wet uh, on the highway for the first time properly it's eased my anxiety and my nerves about it and to be honest I'm loving it I love the cold 
I'm enjoying my time out here on these refreshing, invigorating streets. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you uh, coming along on this learning journey with me. Remember to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you on the next one. You say you've got them guns, but I've never seen you bang. You say you've got them drugs, but I've never seen you slang.